Welcome back, people. We're going to talk about lasers. Who doesn't like that topic, huh? Uh, why do we use lasers for vibrometry? Or why is laser the preferred light source? Why can't we just use a light bulb? So that's the goal of this presentation, to uh, uh, show you what the properties are of the laser that makes it uh, makes it the ideal source uh, for um, interferometry. And this is your lucky day because you only get one slide presentation. So here we go. Um, there are three properties of laser that make it perfect for uh, using a vibrometer. Number one, it is monochromatic, meaning it is single wavelength. You can think of a, a laser pointer, for example, it's single wavelength. Uh, this is what makes it ideal for vibrometry. Each laser source has a certain wavelength. For example, we use three different wavelengths for three different types of vibrometer systems. The helium neon, which has been around for a long time, uses a 632.8 nanometers. The new version, the latest generation of vibrometers called QTEC uses an IR laser source in 1550 nanometers. And for some of our microsystem analyzers, we use a 532 nanometer because there we are trying to achieve the smallest spot size possible. So monochromatic, that's number one. The second one is directional. Laser is directional, as you can imagine, as opposed to a light bulb or a, a white light source, which has all kinds of frequencies and also it's everywhere. It, you cannot focus it, you cannot point it. And for vibration measurements, you know, pointing it where you want to measure is of course critical, but it also is one of those fundamental properties that is very important for making it work um, in a vibrometer directionally. And um, it has a very short divergence angle, as you can see here. So it kind of goes exactly where you point it. And the final property, which is probably um, just most important or just equally important is it has to be a coherent light source. Now, what do we mean by coherent? And here, there are several ways to explain it, but here's how I understand it. If you think of the photons as a bunch of um, you know, it's a, as a light as if you think of light as, as a bunch of photons, kind of. So, a coherent light source means all those photons are kind of moving together in phase with each other for a certain length. That certain length uh, during which it still stays together is called the coherence length. Each laser source has a certain coherence length. So, for example, the Heaney has about 100 meters. For that distance, it stays in phase. It is very important that the back reflected light or the laser source is coherent because that's the only way you'll get interference, which is a prerequisite to any kind of vibrometry. As you'll see in this little video, when you have two waves that either um, combine either constructively or destructively, it creates a constructive or a destructive interference. For this, there has to be some phase relationship. If the phase is all over the place, you'll never get interference and there will no, there'll be no vibrometer. So hopefully this makes sense. Uh, monochromatic, directional, and coherent. If you have any questions, we are here to help. And um, hopefully this helps. Until next time, bye-bye.